Hi folks, Max from GalaxyNote2Root.com for this week's ROM of the week for the all of the Galaxy Note 2s. Um, check out SlimCat ROM. Uh, this is an Android 4.4.2 KitKat ROM available for AT&T T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon, uh, GTN 7100, GTN 7105, Canadian. Um, also, Sprint and Verizon uh, versions are ported, but um, should be just as good. Anyway, let me go ahead and show you. That was the boot up animation. And this is the SlimCat ROM here. I'm looking pretty good. You'll probably notice the larger resolution. This is due to the lower DPI. Um, SlimCat ROM um, is always has the lower DPIs to give you more uh, more apps in your app drawer in your home screen. Um, so that's one of their core features. Ever since they started making the ROMs uh, since the Galaxy S2 Slim ROMs. Um, but I didn't really like it much when I had my Galaxy S2 uh, because the s screen on the S2 was already too small and then, um, you know, everything makes it small. I mean, you can change the DPI. Uh, but on the Note 2 or the Note 3, I find this uh, resolution just perfect. You'll see more stuff in your screen. Of course, if you're a little bit older and you're using reading glasses, I don't recommend this ROM as much. Um, but this ROM is pretty simple. And it has a ton of shortcuts. Um, it has like unlimited number of shortcuts, um, and uh, it's not you know it doesn't have as much customization uh, as far as status bar, you know, all all the other stuff um, such as AOKP ROM, uh, but it still does have plenty. Um, you can change your battery icon, notification drawer, um, your uh, quick quick settings tiles, um, and also of course. Uh, the biggest thing with this ROM is navigation. You have a ton of navigation. Um, global menu, you can go ahead and add your favorite uh, apps. Even I even added my Gmail there. Um, your Pi controls, expanded desktop, screenshots. Um, this is all for your power menu there. So I can go ahead and go uh, straight to my Gmail there. Um, so very nice stuff. And let me go ahead and show you more stuff you can do. Hardware buttons. Uh, if you enable this and set the normal press, long press, double tap for each of your heart, uh, physical buttons, then you can make these three physical buttons into nine different shortcuts. So additional nine there. And also navigation bar, you can go ahead and enable it, disable it. Um, I've disabled it. Uh, enable it. Buttons, if you go to buttons, you can go ahead and add uh, more buttons, even your custom applications you want. Um, let's say I added Google Drive, and you'll see Google Drive nicely in there. Um, so also it does have a nice custom theme that's kind of slightly black and white, uh, very nice. And also ring targets if you want uh, additional rings. Um, you can also go ahead and do that. And if you swipe up from the bottom, you'll be able to access um, your buttons there. So a ton of that and not doesn't end there. You can go ahead and add SlimPie if you want to. Um, you can go ahead and add your favorite apps, favorite shortcuts. Um, so that gives you like unlimited number uh, of navigation bars. And also you can do this. Um, you can go ahead if you don't want, sometimes you know there are times where you don't want to use the Slim Pi or the Pi controls. Go ahead and uh, enable the Pi controls uh, for your power menu and it's gone. Um, so that's really the core of the feature. Um, the resolution or the DPI, um, the navigation shortcuts. And also, it's not bloated with a ton of customization where things can go wrong. Um, so I find that in that sense, it is very smooth, very fast, um, more stable than some of the other custom ROMs. Um, so this isn't for everybody, but for those of you who want to take the uh, advantage of the larger screen, um, the slim, slim ROM with a ton of navigation shortcuts that uh, you'll never run out of. Um, you know, of course, if you need a lot of customization, I do recommend some other ROMs like Beanstalk, um, uh, maybe, well, uh, some of the other ROMs. So definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the week, and uh, do let me know. Um, but I've actually been running this on my Note 3 as a daily driver for the last week, and I really love it. And also, um, it is available for the Note 2, which is essentially th the same, and the camera works just fine. Um, the only thing, it does come with Smart. Uh, smart camera mode or smart capture. I suggest turning that off. It's not as stable, um, so I don't really recommend it. But as far as just uh, regular, hey, I'm trying to regular uh, photo photo shots and recording, it works just fine. And you can go ahead and upgrade it to the Android 4.3 Photosphere camera or downgrade. Um, that way we get Photosphere. 
Overall looking very nice. Um, this is one of the overlooked ROMs out there. Um, so definitely, I know some of you might fall in love with it. So try it out, do let me know, and I will see you guys soon. As always, uh, stay hoi on Android.